pray, sisters and brothers, that we ourselves and that this, our offering, would be acceptable to God, the almighty creator. For the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all the people. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, as you say, right and just to give God thanks and to give God praise. We realize that our prayers of thanksgiving our expressions of appreciation and gratitude add nothing to God's greatness. We have, however, discovered that in giving thanks, in showing appreciation, in expressing our gratitude, the eyes and the ears of our hearts are opened and we see and sense the sacred presence more keenly. Love becomes real, hope becomes tangible, and justice and peace possible. So, encouraged by this, let us now unite our voices with those who've gone before us, and in union with the hymn of the universe, let us sing together. Please be seated. Dear family and friends, we have gathered here this morning in grief to say thank you for the gift of Connie and her presence on this planet. Let us now, as a family, open the door of silence and step inside, piece by piece, step by step, we go deeper into this sacred space. We allow the silence to descend on us, to surround us, and to still us deep within. Here we become aware of this, the most precious gift of all, the breath of life. We acknowledge that Connie has stopped breathing and that you and I continue to breathe. We say thanks for the gift of life. And we remember that Jesus gathered with his friends on the eve of his death and he took bread and he gave thanks and he broke the bread and he said to his friends, take and eat, this is my body which will be given up for you. He invited them to take and eat and in this invitation is the invitation 
to accept all that life offers us and to eat it. Again, Jesus took the cup, and this time he gave thanks once again and invited his friends, as he does us, to take and drink. This is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant. It will be shed for you and for all. Do this in memory of me. Once again, you and I have been invited to drink from the cup of life, trusting that what life dishes out to us will indeed be divine in origin. Take and drink. And let us proclaim the mystery of faith. Let Lord Jesus In memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you this life-giving bread and this saving cup. We thank you for counting us worthy to live in your presence and serve you. May all of us who share in the body and blood of Christ be brought together in unity by your Holy Spirit. Remember our church throughout the world Make us grow in love together with Francis, our Pope, with all our bishops and priests and all who work for the coming of your kingdom. God of goodness, we turn our attention now to Connie for her life in our midst. And in the silence of our hearts, we give you thanks. While we pray for Connie, we also pray for all those who have died, all those who have journeyed ahead of us, particularly for those who have influenced and shaped our lives. We give thanks for their presence on the planet. We give thanks for the blessings we have received from them. We give thanks for the blessings we have received from you in and through them. We accept as human beings we cannot see the dead nor can we hear them. Yet we have discovered when we enter in this, enter this sacred space, this deep silence, we do sense their presence and their support. So dear friends, encouraged by this, let us now unite our voices with theirs and in union with the hymn of the universe itself. Let us give God glory and let us do so together through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit. All glory and honor is yours, almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. Let us stand now and pray the words that make us all children of God. Our Father, hallowed be thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our